Oh, what's up people, Dobbs Wars is right here and welcome to a special little video today. Um, pretty much it's a special question. You guys can pretty much answer it very personal yourself and you can tell me why for yourself as well. Are strategy guides dying out? Well, sadly to put it in blunt words for me and to you guys who lived in the 90s and in the 80s and also in the 70s, yes, strategy guides are dying out in the video game industry. Now, I'm just showing you two that I actually own. I actually own quite a lot of them, to be honest, because I love video games that much. I play a lot of them. Even if I got stuck, I played them. I've got here Pokemon Red, Blue, Red and Blue and Yellow, and also Final Fantasy VII Strategy Guide. Now, these are the one of the most oldest and the rarest ones I've got, just to let you guys know. However, you may be thinking on why are strategy guides dying out? Well, the main big massive reasons is because you can get these for free on the internet or even watch them on YouTube and watch people play the game and show you how to beat it. Back in the day, we didn't have no internet, we didn't have no YouTube, so the only way we could have done it was to read a book or speak to a friend who played the game and beat the game or making it extremely expensive for you and ringing people from the actual HQ whether it was from Game Freak, from Squaresoft, from Capcom to Nintendo themselves spending at least £2 a minute to try and figure out how to do it because what they would be doing mainly doing was reading the book on the phone and yeah that is true and if you want to have some proof you can go and speak to my one of my parents because they did it with me when they were playing a game called Olundra. Anyhow, back to the subject. Now, the main reason is though, why I don't want these to disappear for good, to be honest. I know there is a few still being made as we know and speak. Like we said, there one that just came out recently for Cyberpunk. Ooh. There was one for The Last of Us Part 2. Ooh. <laughs> um, and plus they've been remaking some Final Fantasy games, which is quite awesome. They're getting remaking of the Final Fantasy strategy guides, which is awesome. Final Fantasy VII Remake got a strategy guide, but sadly it goes made exclusively to Japan, you bastard. Oh, that pissed me off. Now that's the thing though, Japan are still making the strategy guides every single week. They still are. However, for the United Kingdom and also in America, we're getting them way less than we have been. Now, this is the main thing I'm going to tell you truthfully now, and I know this for sure because I've experienced it with all my strategy guides, from when I bought them freshly new, or even bought them as pre-owned products. 90% of the game in the strategy book you can get on YouTube or even on the internet. 100% true, you can. You can easily go ahead and research Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow, look for every single Pokemon, what they do, what was their weakness, I get that. However, 10% of the game slash what was in the strategy book, you cannot get on the internet or on YouTube. Well, first off, you get the physical copy. That's one big massive, a big massive thing to say about it. So number one, it's an investment, okay? That's one thing about them. These books are investments because the older they get, the harder they come by. Remember, this thing came out in 1999 and Final Fantasy VII came out in 1997. Yeah, 1999, 1997 and also in Japan and America, 1996. So, yeah, they're massive, massive investments if you guys want to keep them in pristine condition. Or if you want to, just play them and use the book whenever you want. But the other thing as well is that as well, in the strategy books, you have artwork that you can look at all day long. Love the artwork. Amazing. But the other thing is, is the special things you get in it. Now, back when I first got Pokemon Red and Blue, inside this Pokemon magazine and strategy guide, what did it have inside it? It had a base set booster pack inside it. Yeah. Inside this, stacked here, was a booster pack. It was sealed in cellophane and it had a little sticker on it saying base set one booster pack inside. You opened it up, it was there. Holy shit people, that is insane. Now you may be thinking what else was in strategy guys in not, not in the 
80s and the 90s, but what about in the late early 2000s and the late 2000s? Let's go forward with uh, Final Fantasy 13 3 and Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns and the very first one. When I first got them, I got Final Fantasy 13 as a special collection bonus for buying the Collector's Edition when it came on the PS3. So I pretty much got the book for free, to be honest. But inside it had a special code, and the only way you can get the code was to buy the book. And inside the book, this code was to literally unlock a lot of special items and special gear. It was the only way to do it, and holy crap, that thing was insane. I was, mainly, I was mainly using them items from the beginning of the game, pretty much near to the end of the game until I got my ultimate weapons, because they were that powerful. However, on the Final Fantasy XIII 3, Lightning Returns, that contained special uniform costumes for Lightning. And one of them, in fact, was a freaking homage to Final Fantasy VII with Cloud Strife's uniform. It was the only way you got it. I think it was only exclusive to the United Kingdom. I don't think it was exclusive to America. I think in Japan they had Yuna's uniform in the Final Fantasy X. But it was so freaking cool and awesome. Now, the other things as well, they might be thinking, but that's just codes and that's just products and everything. Was there anything else that was special in strategy, guys? There certainly was. There were so many different things you can get in strategy books. You get special maps. You get yourself special artwork. You get autographs. And also, sometimes, you get one-of-a-kind product that was only printed like a thousand times. That was it. And if I remember, one of them was, if I let me look at my book, it was Pokemon Black and White. Yes, Black and White. That had a special code to get yourself Victini. Yeah, Victini. And like you guys know, it came out a few months later after Victini got this code, because this X code expired in about a month or two. Which was okay, fair enough, but literally after that, they released Victini as a one-of-a-kind um, Easter egg mystery box gift for people who got Pokemon Black and White. But that was the only way you can do it. So, just to say out loud, people, Strategy Guides, most, quite a lot of times nowadays, will have something more special in these than you can get them on the internet and also on YouTube, because these are special. Now, I know a lot of people may be thinking that this is just a waste of money and a waste of space and everything because a lot of people don't have space. But if you have space, definitely get some. And also, I want to ask you guys this question. For this, is to the boys and the girls and everybody around the world. If you guys have strategy guides, please put them in the comments down below. I'm just asking this personally. What are they? And please tell me as well, do you still use them? And if you don't use them, I'd encourage you guys, if you still have the game as well, play it and don't use the internet, don't use YouTube. Just play the game and try and get every last thing in the game with the strategy guide. I bet you guys are going to have a lot of fun with that because I enjoy it every time. With Pokemon, getting every single Pokemon in the game. Doing Final Fantasy VII, getting every single weapon in the game. Doing Final Fantasy X, getting every single celestial weapon. In doing GTA 4, getting every single gun in the game and doing all the special items and getting all the special stuff in there. Kingdom Hearts 2, doing the special events in there, including the Final Mix version. And of course, LA Noir, getting every single perfect score in the case files. And yeah, there's a lot of. There's a lot of books I've got from the strategy guys. It's insane. But anyhow, this is just my little rant and a bit of a heads up to you guys. I pretty much personally do not want strategy guides to go extinct. I still want them to be made to this very day. Because we do not know, literally people, it's a clock, it's a ticking time bomb on when these strategy guides are going to disappear forever. Because the internet and also YouTube are that strong and powerful that these things will be no longer usable anymore because everybody will have the strategy guide. However, still, that big 10% that people will get personally from buying them products was always a beautiful gift. And I always remember that and I'll always treasure that to my heart. 
So if you guys enjoyed it, like I said, leave a comment down below on what strategy guides you have and tell me if you still use them or still play with the game. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get yourself another game while uploading live stream. The people obviously go to you guys subscribing either way. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Cheerio!